This was a police training exercise that occurred in the city of London yesterday. It simulated a group of terrorists armed with guns and bombs storming a shopping centre. Yesterday's exercise was part of annual training for the Met's authorised firearms officers, of whom there are more than 2,000. The Met Police Commissioner, Sir Bernard Hogan Howe, has said he wants to double the number of these specialist officers. Assistant Commissioner Patricia Gallen, Scotland Yard's Head of Specialist Crime and Operations, explains how they are training police officers. I think the important thing following Mumbai in 2008, we reviewed our tactics about what is the best way to approach and tackle a terrorist incident in London. As a result of that, our tactics have changed and one of the tactics we now use is to go forward to meet the threat, to deal with it, to save life. She admits that the recent incidents in Paris emphasised how close the terrorist threat is and encouraged them to review their tactics. But she insists this training was scheduled before the attacks in the French capital. She has also insisted that the force has no shoot-to-kill policy and said Mark's men will operate only within the law. We have never had a shoot-to-kill policy and we won't have a shoot-to-kill policy. Our officers act within the criminal law, they act within the Human Rights Act and they are there to save lives. Apart from these exercises, the Met Police say they have taken a number of measures to increase security in the city. They say they have increased the number of armed response vehicles in the streets and constantly train officers to be ready, aware and alert. Ambulance and fire crews also join the exercise.